in this video what we are going to be creating is what you see on your screen and everything is going to be done in canva and amazingly we are going to be doing this from scratch so make sure you stick to the end to learn everything you need to learn about this particular flyer the name is benjamin and <laughs> without any further i do let's jump straight into this and let's get started All right, so you can see this is it, you know, everything was done in Canva to make sure we are working on the same dimension as we have come into your home page. OK, that's the first place. Come in to create a design. And as always, we use the Instagram dimension 1080 by 1350. So you can basically search for Instagram and as part of the options, you should see this. OK, so after it's done, you should get, you know, a dimension just like this. All right. So let's jump straight into the first thing we want to start with the background so for the background make sure you're coming to color and i'm going to be using this purple color and don't worry i'm going to show you the color code so just to make sure you're using the same color you can use any color of your choice but you know if you want to stick around um the color code is 671d9a okay 671d nine a that's it and you should get something similar to this after you are done we want to use some element to make our background look interesting okay so i would come into my recently used just to find something we can use okay so you can search for squiggle abstract pattern okay squiggle abstract pattern that's what we actually want to use so make sure you're searching for that and I'll just add it, okay, as white. And if yours comes in black, make sure you choose white, okay, the white color for it. And I'll just put this here. We can decide to flip and flip, okay. So depending on however style you want, you can just, you know, do that. Feel free and just be creative. That's the most important thing. So the next thing we want to do is to select the two of them, okay, and right click, come to group. Where is the group? Yeah, group. Or you can use Control G. Once you do that, the next thing is to come to transparency and reduce the transparency. And this is what we have at the moment. Now, let's add our titles. Press T on your keyboard. And just in case your T is gone out to get some food, you can just come here to text and add it from here. Okay. So I'll lift it up and I want us to change this font so make sure you're choosing chewy okay chewy the yeah, chewy sounds like a name of a dog but i don't know so chewy can be the font you are looking for or you can even use um lazy dog okay depending on what you want so i want to use the chewy and i will say next gen okay i don't want it all caps so let me just turn this off so next gen and we will duplicate it bring it down and say bash okay and i think the spacing let me make sure the spacing okay the spacing is fine yeah so you can just tweak it a little bit so we'll increase the size and increase the size of this as well okay and let's change the color this i want to you know maintain the white but we'll come to effect and the effect will choose outline okay then we'll make this black, this outline black. It shouldn't be too much, something like this is fine. With this color, we can change it. Okay, so let's change the color to yellow. Okay, and this yellow code is FCEF02. Okay, that's it. I would also add the same, you know, outline to it, black, and we'll reduce it slightly. And we'll just place it here. So next gen bash. The only thing is I don't want this next gen to be straight, you know, let's make it look interesting a little bit. So still come here into the element, sorry, effect and scroll down. You should see curve and none. Choose the curve. Okay. Then you have this option over here. Make sure you are, you know, reducing it slightly so that you can have what I'm doing. So currently mine is on 33. Okay, that's where I have mine at. And I think everything is looking fine. Maybe I'll reduce this a little bit. And it is what it is. Okay. And then maybe increase the size. All right. So this is what we have. Now come back and search for banner. Let me just put this here. Okay. That's what we're actually going to search for. So you can just search for banner. And there's so many banners that would show up. But go into graphics and take your time to look through. There's even one of them. Okay. You can use this one. 
depending on the one you want to use okay so just take your time to find one pause the video and i i can wait for you okay so we can put this here or even bring it in front and have it here like this okay then we would want to change the colors so click on the first color come to add a new color make sure you are on the red okay and we'll keep this to a dark red the first color should be a dark red because you can see this is where it reflects okay so we want to keep it as a dark red now we come to the second color come to add a new color with the red this can be a bright red okay then the first color can be the same all right that's it but you can see that since the colors are the same you can't really see the difference which means that the second one we can just make that a little bit darker because it's on the back so the light would affect the one in front more than the one behind and you know the one over here would get the least light that's why we've made it extra dark okay so that's um, some color stuff and make sure to check out my canva course uh, okay it's coming out soon so we'll duplicate this and we'll change the font to lazy dog okay so lazy dog and we'll just take off you know the curve to none okay and i think the spacing i don't like the spacing the letter spacing is too much so we'll just reduce the letter spacing okay so something like this and we'll just be celebrating what are we celebrating celebrating the future okay the future because the future is always bright okay the fact that you are even learning a canva tutorial right now even confirms the fact that the future is bright you started like this and it will take you very far okay so keep keep doing that keep learning keep exploring keep trying to get better that's the best now you can see we made everything straight and we the banner is actually kept so what can we then do we can still go back into you know the effect into curves and let's add a, you know, some slight curve negative 13 that's what i have at the moment okay and that's what is giving me this nice um bent in the text okay so something like this works okay now i can select all of this and just move it up a bit i want us to add a few things around just to make this look exciting so you can simply come into element and search for blob b l o b and you would see we have a lot of blobs in here so i want the color to be yellow and i can put this blob over here you can duplicate it okay have another blob over here and we can also have one so let me just put this here i mistakenly moved it so it should be here this can also be here we can also have splash okay so search for splash and this what we have we can also make this um yellow okay this can be here it's giving nickelodeon uh vibe okay then what we can do is we can let's come back and search for more splashes okay so splash we need some interesting splash so let's go through to see if we can find some so we can add this i think this is fine and we can still go through and try to see if we can get more splashes yeah and i think this also works okay and this would also make yellow and this one would also make yellow okay so i can reduce the size and i can just paste it here then i can duplicate it bring it here and flip it okay and that is what i have at the moment so now that we've done all of this the next thing i just want you to let you know is just in case you're on the free version of canva and you are considering canva pro for so many reasons there's a link i have in the description box below that can help you upgrade to canva pro for free you know it's a very easy process so make sure you're checking the link in the description box below to get started and i have so many templates so many templates available in canva that you can use for free make sure to check it out as well and let's get back into the video all right so let's add our date time and some extra information then we add some images all right so i'll duplicate this bring it down here i'll take the curve off okay and i want to change the font to horizon okay this is one of the popular fonts in canva i believe so so the horizon before we edit the text i want to add you know the outline i want to increase the outline okay so something like this is fine then let's just change the font uh, the text so i'll just say monday you know third march third march 2025 so 
this is what we have at the moment we'll resume we'll reduce it not resume it <laughs> yeah, boy. and we'll just have it here okay so something like this is cool then we can add some boxes all right so there's a cute little box okay and you can just bring it here okay something nice and reduce the size and drag this down a little bit then make sure you're moving it make sure you're moving it in a little bit because you don't want it to be too close to you know the edge then we'll you know bring it here as well okay and both boxes we want the color to be yellow okay to be yellow then we want to also add some outline so a border so we can also do that and we'll add some slight curves if you know we can do that then we'll have our text on top so with our text i can say time okay i can say time and duplicate it and the time i can just say 10 pm okay so 10 pm and this is what we have at the moment but because the box is already yellow i don't want to make the text black okay and this is how i want the text to be arranged in the box okay so something like this is fine select it and move it over here and just rotate it to fit and reduce the size it's not fitting nicely okay i think this is fine and reduce the size to something like this or better still what you can even do is you can just find out the rotation negative 2.3 okay then you can come to the box and just do negative 2.3 okay so that you can get something perfect then we will just choose the two and just make sure you are making it look good so i'll change this to black okay it should be very black and i'm just going to remove the outline so something like this is fine okay yeah so let's have it like this let's have it then we can just duplicate it and also bring this here uh, then we also just rotate it nicely bring it over here somewhere like this and with the same thing we want to know the rotation of the box which is negative 4.4 .4. okay so we can just do 4.4 also over here and with this we can say fee okay and the fee we can say maybe twenty thousand, whichever currency it is and as for that one it's it's none of my business <laughs> so we'll just put the fee here like this and i think it looks it looks good all right so this is what we have now let's add some photos come into your element and what i will do is i'll just search for wrapper okay so wrapper and there are so many wrappers you'd see you can go into photos and you see so many photos in here i already have some photos in there i think this photo looks if you see this photo you can also add it to the list of photos okay because you have to choose three photos i'll go into my recently used you know element and i should pull them up from there so i'll just scroll and this is one of them this is second of them this is third of them and we are simply going to remove the background of all of them okay so this will be removed then the second one we also remove the background and the third one the background would also be removed now let's try to arrange them okay so i would crop this guy okay you can see up to his waist level then i'll increase the size and place him over here then with this one i'll bring him here like this and this one too i would crop and bring him up okay something like that but because his head is moving the same direction with the other guy i want or the main guy i want to flip his head to the other side so that with this one as well you can bring him here increase the size a little bit okay then right click come to layer come to show layers and we'll move the two of them to the back okay so we we'll move the two of them to the back so that we have something like this and maybe their head with the two people behind their head should be almost the same okay so this is what we can do and we can see things are looking very good it's very it's looking very nice all right so now what we can simply do is to duplicate this box and bring it down here and increase the size the rotation i believe is too much so we can have it like this drop it down more and increase the size to the top again so we want two boxes okay now the first one can talk about activities so let me zoom in and i would duplicate this okay so we have something like this here and all we are simply going to say is activities 
and we'll stretch it out nicely and we can see there's going to be a wave there's going to be food and there's going to be games okay so these are the three main things that we have over here and activities food and rave and let's arrange them nicely okay so we have this and we have this and we just bring this down like that and this is what we have at the moment then now we can just duplicate these two texts okay so this and this we can just duplicate it and bring it down here and we can just say location all right and we can just move this here and move this also here like this and the location we can use in location at all so i'll just copy this location okay and i'll come into the one we are doing here and paste it here okay because if it's going to be the same location and i don't know why we have to stress so i'll bring it here increase things like this and we'll crop it all right so this is what we have at the moment so let's choose all the pictures select them bring them down a little bit if you want to add the names you can add the names okay but i want us to add some you know random elements so i'll just search for both okay and you can choose anyone so this is yellow i can choose the same yellow we have over here we have we can put one here duplicate flip okay then we can just randomly move them around okay and you can also make some smaller some bigger depending on what you want and you can also search for stars if you know you want a star and you can just choose random stars okay with this one you are unable to customize it so i'll just move it away and add anyone that i can customize okay so something like that this star can be here you know smaller then we can bring this one also here as well okay then the last thing is we can add some random names okay so i can do this a dry touch okay then i can bring this here and see benny min okay and we can also move this here and see Chaleb Chaleb up all right so this is something simple we've been able to do inside of canva so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you found it very easy to follow and just in case you're looking for more canva tutorials like this feel free to smash the like button and to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes from me the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video